Good morning everyone. So I left Port away in around 7.40ish in the morning. A little bit later than I originally wanted to because I'm trying to do 25 miles today. But I will at least try to get 20 in and then we'll see um, what I want to do from there. So, but I had an awesome stay there. It was great. Showers. Clean. Like one of the cleanest hostels I've ever been in. Um, Tina, you do an excellent job. Like, I mean, she was a previous through hiker, so like, she knows what we want. <laughs> but yeah, um, I got to see Chuck Norris and Yeehaw and Whiskey and Turkey, which are two guys I met my first day of hiking, and like, we finally got in the same place for a little bit. But all those guys are way ahead of me because they slap packed like 30 miles. So, and I'm trying, like, like, I won't be able to catch up to them, but anyways, um, it's a windy day, but a beautiful day. Uh, legs. Legs feel a little, eh, um, just because I was really pushing it the last 10 miles of yesterday to get to the hostel before 8, 8 p.m., um, basically before dark, and I did make it, but, like, when I push like that, my body doesn't like me the next day. Like, I'm not super sore or anything, but they're just not, they're not happy. Um, so I don't really like to do it too much or too often. But yeah, so I'm not necessarily take my time, but go my pace and try to get to Jenkins Shelter today. So I'm going to get hiking. Bye. Well, it ran away too fast. I just scared a deer on accident. I did say hello deer and it stopped and looked at me, but then it ran up that way. I was hoping I could still get some video of it for you guys, but I guess not. I'm so sorry. Huh. We started having to cross these little bridge thingies. Um, not my super favorite. I feel a little unbalanced when I'm on them with my pack. But when you have trekking poles, now this is going to be tricky because there's an actual river over there. Um, you just throw them over. <laughs> you throw them over because they're useless to you in your hands. And then you climb over it. But, um, I'm also kind of glad, like, the river's a bit high, um, I, or the creek or whatever, I can tell, but it's not high enough to flood out the trail, so that's really good, because the trail's right there. But I'm going to get over this. Okay, I don't know if I can get them on video properly, but I thought they were, these were butterflies flying around. They're not. They're dragonflies. Oh, sorry. And they're all black with metallic bodies. Let's see if I can get this one. They're some of the most beautiful dragonflies I've ever seen. So this one's like metallic green. And then that, there's one, sorry, there's one over here. This one is more metallic blue. But yeah, they're so freaking cool. Seriously. So I just looked down and there's this purplish kind of looks like coral fungus but coral fungus is beige but yeah it's really neat it's like over here 
and down there. So yeah, so if anybody knows what that is, that'd be cool. So I'm at a campsite and it has one of these little red mushrooms I see on the trail sometimes. I've been meaning to take a picture of them, but it's been raining. You know, it was raining for like the past four or five days. But we saw this one and I decided to show you guys what they look like. Now this one is older. Because it's splitting at the top. Like they get, I noticed like when they get bigger, they get like kind of more flat. But when they're smaller, they have like a nice little rounded cap on them. And it's pretty neat. And then... My little lunch spot is over there, so I was taking a bathroom break, actually. <laughs> but yeah, it's a little, like five minutes past noon, and I was gonna try to do a twenty, like I said, a twenty-five mile day. Mm, it's looking more like a twenty mile day, something in between there, um, just because I have. 12 more miles to get to the 20 mile mark, and it's noon, so I'll get there around 6, but if I try to go to Jenkins, I have another 5 miles after that, so I'm looking at like 8.30 at the moment, so, but yeah, the goal is to just get to 20 miles and then reevaluate on whether or not I want to push to the shelter or not, but I'm doing good, I'm, do I'm happy, I got to chance to meet fastball and hike with him a teeny bit and talk about the PCT and stuff because that's something I want to do in the future um and a little bit about his life and um and stuff like that so that was cool um everybody else like I said is way ahead of me and yeah I don't know I don't know what to say other than yay <laughs> all right I'm gonna go bye I found a perfect example of that mushroom when it's younger I believe so it's nice and rounded like this but then over here is an older one that's more sorry it's more flat on top so yeah I think they're really neat Chestnut Knob Shelter. And part of me really, really wishes I was just stopping here for tonight. It's like almost 4 p.m. I still have up to 10 miles to go to get to Jenkins Shelter. Like, I'll get there in time. But, like, part of the reason why part of me wants to stay here is because, one, it's warm. Because it's fully enclosed. And is there, you can tell the difference between here and outside. Hold on. And the other part is because I kind of pushed my body yesterday to get to the hostel in time. And I'm not doing that today. Like I, I have, a, first I'm making it to 20 miles, which is like five or six away. Then I will get to Davy's campsite and see how I feel, um, which is in between the 20 mile mark and um Jenkins shelter and then if I think I'm doing okay with body and time ish and I'll try to get to Jenkins um but yeah that's the plan right now um the only reason why I am trying to do this at four o'clock at night 10 miles five hours of hiking is because there's two big downhills like downhill elevations and like a straight stretch so like there's a possibility with me going downhill that I'll be able to make up make up some time. So, but yeah, I'm kind of tired, but good. I had a nice half hour break um, and I'm ready to get hiking. Oh yeah, but it's so tempting to just stay here for the night and just wake up super early tomorrow and leave. And so, but yeah, I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.